I'm Rachel Rudwall, and this is the travel show where you take the wheel. I ask what you want to see, you vote, and I go shoot it. It's really very simple. This is You Roam. With the first flights in over 50 years flying between US and Cuba, you know what that means. We have got to go there. Hey, I'm Rachel. I asked and you voted. And the thing that you most want to see from Cuba is a guide to Havana. First, hitch a ride in a classic car. Dreamy, am I right? So tons of the cars in Cuba are from the 1940s and 1950s. And that's not because Cubans are like totally obsessed with like throwback and vintage stuff. It's because they have not been replaced. Okay, you got the lay of the land by car. Now it's time to explore by foot. Old Havana is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. See the Capitol building, see the cathedral, see the forts which are overlooking the ocean, and go to the Museum of the Revolution. That is one of the weirdest museums you could ever go to. It's like propaganda filled. Now ditch the checklist and let yourself just get lost. Walk from Old Town all the way to Vedado. It's about two miles in between the two and it is a perfect distance to just see how Cubans actually live. So you're gonna see the old cars, but you're also gonna see little old people singing Guantanamera in the streets. You'll also be able to peek your nose into some of the ration shops where Cubans actually shop as a part of their communist system. When I was there, the shelves were pretty bare. Make sure to stop at Callejón de Jamel. It is this little street art filled alleyway. It's really cool. And then finish up your walk with a mojito at the historic Hotel Nacional. If you want to go out, you can go out in Cuba. Start your evening with a daiquiri at El Floridita. They are the originators of the daiquiri. It is touristy, but it's a really good drink. I prefer the more intimate spots like this jazz club called La Zorra y El Cuervo. It's only 10 bucks to get in and you have two drinks included. If you want to party like a local though and do what's cheap, just go to the gas station. Buy yourself a bottle of Havana Club rum, which is cheaper than bottled water, and walk down to the Malecon, which is their seawall, and that is where all the locals hang. If you're done with the city vibe and you want to relax a little bit or maybe nurse your hangover, yep, I see you. Go to the beaches to the east of the city. Know what they're called? Playas del Este. Tropicoco is a local's favorite, so it has this really celebratory vibe, and it's also very crowded, so if you want something a little bit quieter along the same route, try Megano. Remember to pack cash so you can buy water and you can buy a snack at the food stalls. All right, so are you ready to go to Cuba? If so, let me know in the comments below, because I can tell you all the rest of my Cuba travel tips, like how to get there, what other cities to visit. Let me know what you want to know in the comments below, and if you like this video, share it with your friends. Cuba is calling all of us. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. More places for us to keep sharing adventures. Thanks guys!